What's up everybody? It's Alex here from Backyard Sprouts and today I'm just going to cover with you guys how we select our microgreen containers and some of the problems we've had with them. Alright, so for starters I'm going to show you what we are currently using and this is our larger container here. You can see this is from Good Star Packaging. It is 100% compostable. It's made from corn. And these containers are about, I believe, 25 cents a piece when you order them in a large bulk. You can see it's a deli style lid connects. It comes back down like this and it's nice up top here because when you stick the greens in, it doesn't squish them on the bottom. So RJ and I are really big on aesthetics. We like to make sure that our chefs have nice looking products. So this is a good container for us. Another reason we like this container is because it's a nice flat top. So RJ does all our label designs and we like to make them look good. So this is a good flat surface to put them on. Now where we're running into problems is the small containers that we buy from Good Start. These are the small ones. As you can see, this is the top, and it has these lovely four little bumps right here. And what's really frustrating about this is trying to put a label on, you can't because it gets all jacked up, it doesn't look good, it's not aesthetically pleasing. And it's the same style, right? Deli container, right like this. So what we've been doing to improvise is flipping it upside down and putting the label on the bottom so everyone has to open the container upside down. Now we will say that we do find that this is pretty easy to open, honestly it's not that hard, but it's just irritating that the container has to be upside down and people look at it like what the heck, right? So we got super creative and decided to look at new packaging. So you can see it just arrived, which we're very excited about. And this packaging is from a company called Vegware. They are also made from plants and 100% compostable. These are really nice and sleek, so you can see also a deli style container, okay? Lid closes like this, and doesn't squish down into the product, so it won't crush it. These are a little flimsier, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. But overall, it's a really good look. It looks nice and sleek, it has a nice flat surface we can put the labels on, flat here to label, and if we have to stick a label on the bottom, it's flat. This is a good size, but unfortunately the biggest size that we currently found on their site is smaller than the one that we have from Good Start. So we are going to have to play around with the sizes to see how we're going to label things and what product we can fit in each. You can see this is a smaller one. This would be really good if you're looking to put a uh, product into like a, um, a grocery store or at your local markets, right, when you're selling smaller product. This is a really nice size. So we really like these. We're super excited that they came. We're um, really looking forward to using them. These are good for samples as well. What we're really nervous about though is we are trying to play around with some different sprout mixes and salads because we've had a lot of people asking us for various, you know, what can I take? Like, can I mix other things in here? I don't just want one. And so the biggest size that they're offering, which I'll show you in comparison, Okay, there's their big size, and here's the one from Good Start, side by side. So you can see the Good Start one is clearly larger, and definitely gives a little bit more room, and we weighed them, I think this one's a little bit heavier, because there's a bit more space. So we'll have to play around with it. We still like the container, and we're super excited about it, and I know RJ's excited that there's a nice flat surface for his labels to go on. <laughs> So we will keep you guys posted with how that goes and we'll let you know um, what our thoughts are and what we end up doing. So one more thing I'm just going to point out is these are the small containers that we ordered from Vegware. Alright, super cute. We like them a lot. And as you can see, that's a beautiful flat surface right there compared to the Good Start one, which is the top right here where you can see it's bumpy and you can't put a label on it. I'm sure there's a design reason that they put all these notches in here and these little bumps, but for us, aesthetically, it just does not look good and does not work well for our product, so hopefully these work out. They're pretty similar. This one from Good Start is a little bit bigger, but a lot of the smaller greens like arugula and curly cress and broccoli that we have coming in don't really require a massive container because, quite frankly, people just don't eat large ounces of that a week, definitely at the... Uh, market, right? So this will work really great for those, so we're really excited. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, RJ and I are looking to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you hit that like and subscribe button for us, and we'll see you all next time. What's up, everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts. Or did I do both? I just say it's Alex. Did <laughs> you just say Alex? <laughs>